Hey guys, I'm Mithilis and welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we're going to create an awesome title animation video inside of After Effects. In this tutorial, I will show you the uses of different text animators. So make sure you watch till the end of the video. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. Alright, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. I already created a composition with some basic settings. Let's take the type tool and type any text you like. Center the anchor point and align the text to the center. I'm using the copper plate gothic font but you can use any. Also keep some gap between the characters. Now select the text layer. Click on this animate button and add scale property. First turn down the scale value to 0. Then open range selector 1 and on the first frame add a keyframe on the start. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 100. We are going to use multiple animators here, so I suggest you to name these animators properly. Let's call it animator1 and then scale. Now add another animator which is position. Make sure this comes as a separate animator and rename it to position. Inside this animator, we are going to use one more animator. So click on this add button and add wiggle. And here you will get a position property also. First, change the y axis value to high value. Then open wiggle selector 1. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe on the mean and max amount. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 0 for the both. Now, if we play, you can see a bounce on the text, but we don't need the bounce for this title animation. So, first change the wiggle per second value to 0. Now take some time and adjust the position value the way you like. Also you can adjust the random seed value. I think this looks fine for now. Here I want the characters to be changed randomly before coming to the final reveal. For doing that we need another animator which is character offset. Make sure it shows as a separate animator like this. Now on the first frame change the character offset value to 0 and add a keyframe on it. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 0. Now if you play, you can see the characters are changing randomly before it's coming to the final reveal. Change the name of the animator also. Now I want few of the characters have some different colors in the title. Also the color should change over the time. And for doing that, add another animator. So go to fill and select RGB. Let's change the name to color1 because I am going to duplicate this one more time. I want O alphabet in the different color only. And for doing that, open range selector and adjust the start and end value like that. So the color only shows on the specific alphabet. Now add a keyframe on the color, go forward to 10 seconds and change its color to white. And every 10 frames, just alternate the color like this. And at the last frame, it should be white again. Then select all the keyframes, right click on it and change this to toggle and hold keyframes. Now if you play, it should look like this. Nice, this looks perfect. Now if you want more alphabet to be in different colors, just duplicate the color animator just by pressing Ctrl plus D and adjust the start and end value like we did previously. Alright, this is fine for now. Now select the text layer and press U to see the applied keyframes. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Perfect. At last, you can add one more animator which is opacity. On 10 frame, add a keyframe on the opposite, then come back to first frame and change its value to 0. You can change its name as well. Alright, our main text animation part is done. Let's go to the second part of the animation. First duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Let's rename it to stroke. Open the scale property and increase the scale value to a high value. Also enable the stroke here. Then pre-compose the text layer. You can rename it as well.
Open the pre-composed layer, right click and create a solid layer here. Let's call it Saver. Here I am going to use a free plugin from Video Copilot. I will add the link in the description so you guys can download it easily from there. Apply the effect on the solid layer. First change the preset to simple orange. Then open customize score and change the code type to text layer. And change the text layer to motion stroke. Make sure you change the composition setting to transparent. Now adjust these values a little bit. You can use same values like me or you can play with these values to make something crazy. Though I am using this text animation as a background element, so I am keeping the effect as light as possible. Now open customize score and change the start size value to 0. On the first frame, add a keyframe on the mask evaluation, then go forward to last frame and change the value to 2. Means 2 complete cycle. Alright, we can see a line appearing at the start. No worry, we will fix that later in the video. Now take the shape tool and create a solid shape like this. Click on this add button and add repeater. Open repeater 1 and increase the number of copies. Now open the transform and change the x axis position value just like this. You can change the size of the shape from here. This is fine I guess. We can adjust it later if you need. Let's rename the layer. We are going to use this as a mat layer for the text stroke layer. Place this shape at the bottom and change the track mat to alpha mat with the composition. Rotate the shape layer a little bit. Now if you play, you can see the cuts on the text layer. You can adjust the size the way it looks good with your text. Open the scale property of the shape layer and add a keyframe on the first frame. Then go forward to end of the timeline and increase the scale value a little bit. This looks fine. To fix this, just select these two layers and move forward to 2 or 3 frames in the timeline. Let's create a solid layer for the background. And apply 4 color gradient effect on it. Change the colors the way you like. I am keeping the dark orange theme. Let's change the stroke color to something that matches with our background. Add an adjustment layer here. Place it right above the background layer. And apply noise effect on it. Increase the noise value a little bit. Or you can place the adjustment layer on the top of the text layer effect as well. And if you want these cuts to be smooth, you can apply Gaussian blur effect on the matte layer. And increase the blurriness value according to your need. But in my case, I want the sharp edges. So I am keeping this as it is. And our title animation is done. You can add glow effect on the main text layer as well. To stylize it, you can add a stock video in the background, just like this. Place it on the top of the background layer, change the blending mode to overlay and decrease the opacity. Also you can pair it up with some simple shape animation, just like this. And you can add multiple text that changing with the shape animation, just like we saw in the preview. So this is all for today, I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video, till then have fun and stay safe guys.